Aloha and welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Ella and I help you retrain your brain. I post videos every Sunday about turning your rock bottom moment into your breakthrough. So if you don't want to miss any upcoming content, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell below. In today's video, I'm going to be debunking a very popular personal development myth relating to habit. And the truth is... A good habit is not the same thing as a good routine. And specifically, I'm going to give you three major differences between habit and routine. And once you understand these differences, you'll be able to better decide which areas of your life need better habits or need better routines. I hear a lot of people in the media now using the word habit to attract quick clients and fast money. And as somebody who actually uses habit as a tool when working with clients, I feel like it's my duty to clear the air on this one. So let's start with difference number one. Routines are intentional, whereas habits are mindless. You see people often, <clears throat> you see people often conflate the word habit with the word routine, which is incredibly dangerous and if done intentionally, is very irresponsible. So if you look at the definition of the word routine, a routine is a set of actions that you might do in a certain order with certain frequency or actions that you just do on a regular basis but they still require intention. So when you engage in a particular standard routine of yours, that's your brain's way of saying, I'm gonna do this this way because that's how I've always done it and I don't really see a reason for doing it differently. Some examples of common routines that you might have in your life are doing laundry on Saturdays and washing your hands as soon as you come inside from outdoors. A routine is essentially just a set of actions that work for you and your lifestyle. You create them by planning them because you think they're going to provide some benefit to you. So if we go back to the laundry on Saturdays example, you might plan to do laundries on Saturdays days because the hydro is cheaper, you might have more time because you're not working on Saturdays and everyone in the household is home so then they can take their clothes and put them away instead of letting them sit in the dryer and just get all wrinkly. So it makes sense as a routine to do your laundries on Saturdays. Now the definition of habit is a set of subconscious or mindless actions that we take. Certain rewards and reminders in our life motivate us to repeat certain activities and once these activities are repeated over and over again, they do become a habit and a mindless habit at that. The reason that habits are mindless is because once they are created, they actually become a neural pathway in your brain and they're stored in the part of the brain called the basal ganglia. So when you engage in a habit, that's your brain's way of saying, I'm just going to be as efficient as possible by not thinking and just doing. So if you've ever wondered why a bad habit is so hard to break, that is because it is literally imprinted in your brain. And if you want to break or change a bad habit, then you need to learn what's at the core of that habit. And you can do that by using the habit formula. Do you notice something? It's right there. You have to look closer. Yes, that's right. Routines are part of creating habits. And that leads me to the second difference between habits and routines, and that is that not all routines are habits, but all habits have routines. To create a mindless habit, you need three components. So the first thing that you need is a cue or a reminder. This is something that signals us or reminds us to engage in a particular routine. And so that is the second component that you need is a particular routine. And when I say particular, I mean you need to get very, very specific with your routine and the actions that you're taking. And then the third thing that you need is a reward. This is something that makes us feel good and makes us feel happy after the routine is completed. So it's actually by having a good cue and a good reward in place that motivate you to repeat an action over and over again. And when that action is repeated over and over again, that's when a habit is created. So that means that if you want to break a habit, change a habit, or just create a brand new habit, you need to have all those components of the habit formula in place. And more importantly, you need to be able to adjust the components of the habit formula to create something that works specifically best for you. That said, you can have two people with a goal of having the exact same habit, but their components of the habit formula could be completely different. 
And if you want a more in-depth lesson on habit and how you can use the habit formula to your advantage, then make sure you go check out my free five-day course called the Year of You course. I will put a link down below in the description. So next time you hear a life coach on social media talk about they've instilled amazing success habits like waking up at 5 a.m., please know that first, that might not actually be a success habit, but rather just a routine that they engage in regularly. And secondly, waking up at 5 a.m. might not be a success habit for you specifically. And if you want to know more on why there's actually no such thing as standard success habits, but rather just areas of your life where you need to create habits within, make sure you go check out the video I did last week by clicking right here. And hey, if you guys find this video helpful so far, don't forget to hit the like button down below and leave a comment. And don't forget to take a screenshot, post it to your Instagram story and tag me so I can share your story and don't forget to hashtag retrain your brain. And the third difference between habits and routines are that routines are easily broken whereas habits are not. Routines are easily broken because they are intentional activities. So if you have a new intention to change a routine, that intention alone is enough to actually cause the change. Going back to the doing laundry on Saturday example, if that's you and then all of a sudden something comes up at work where you have to work each Saturday for the next month, if you have an intention of say doing laundry now on Thursday evenings, that intention alone is gonna be enough for you to remember to change your activity. Now let's take a look at habits. Do you remember when I told you habits were mindless activities? Well, because they are mindless and really just automatic reflexes in your brain, that's what makes them so difficult to break. And to break them, you have to actively practice the opposite of mindlessness, and that is mindfulness. You have to learn essentially how to re-engage your mind so that you can overwrite your habits and create new ones. And because habits are essentially these automatic reflexes in your brain, it can make your personal development pretty easy. So if you do want to create a habit of waking up at 5 a.m. every day, then it might be really difficult at first, but once you repeat those actions over and over again, specifically using the habit formula, then it's eventually going to become an easy automatic reflex for you. Now you might be thinking, but Ella, what if something comes up in my life and I need to break a habit? Won't that be difficult for me? Well, don't worry, it is completely possible to be flexible with your habits. It really just comes down to self-awareness. And if you want the full answer to that question, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because that's exactly what I'll be talking about next week. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day and don't forget to make this the year of you. Bye.